Hello students, let's talk about next question today and I have selected one very important question and it is very important to understand it because uh, it usually comes in paper whenever we are appearing for board examination, pre-board examination, terminal examination. Like all other questions, this question is mention two factors which support the following. We have to find out the factors which support the following. What, what they are supporting. First, the Sipu River is in its middle course. Which Sipu River? Over here, this big river which is flowing in this map, it's seen in this map, it is called Sipu River. It is written also somewhere here, Sipu Nadi. Nadi means river. So this river, which is shown in this extract, is in its middle course. What is the meaning of middle course? To understand the word middle course, we need to understand that a river has its three courses. Means to understand the nature of the river, it has been divided into three courses. The first course is the origin, starting or mouth of the river. How? When river flows down from a high elevated land, it is very fast, it is very noisy and it is very you know, uh, fast flowing stream. But when it reaches in its middle age, the central age in three parts, it becomes wider, it becomes deeper, it becomes very calm, and it flows down through the plains or flatlands. And when river enters its third point, third stage or third course, it becomes very slow like an old man. It becomes very sometimes shallow also, very wider and distributaries are following there. In the second stage in the middle course, many tributaries join it. So it becomes very mighty. But in the third stage, it is very calm, quiet, very slow and it joins or it is confluenced in the larger water body like sea or something. So we have to find the reasons why Sipu Nadi in the, this map extract is in the middle course. You see, this is river, Sipu River. Now, the, let's read the answers. River, it is flowing through a flat land or plains because in this map extract, you cannot find, you do not find any elevated land, very no hills, no mountains. So, this is a plain area. So, first reason is second reason wider course with tributaries joining see so many tributaries are joining this river like this tributary the other side and small rivers which are joining this river it makes its middle course third thing you see it's meandering any two now what is the meaning of meandering meandering mean to say when river takes suddenly a u-turn like here this is called meanderings so many turns are coming in this so these are called main rings so these kind of u turns or turns of the river are found only in the middle course so this is the third and very important thing to understand